Okay, day two, waterproofing, tub installation, bath and shower tile ideas. Let's show you guys what we're working with here. There's the trailer, all loaded up. It's a lot of debris for one shower. It was floated about two inches, but the trailer tires are not doing so good, a little low. Here's our view. We're in the guest wing of the house. Not a bad view at all. Look at that. Got the tub, installing that today. We've got the curdy membrane for waterproofing. We're waterproofing today. Tile box set up. Schluter kit, DeWalt saw, couple tables. Always good to be organized with your tools, guys. It uh, allows you to be much more efficient. Got the DeWalt box there. Let's show you what we're working with here really quickly. All right, here it is. Guest bathroom. Here's the shower. Green board's up, ready to be waterproofed. Of course, we've got our Joe Rogan rocking it. Air conditioning unit. This is where the tub's gonna be installed. We're gonna install some Wayne's coat, large format. So let's get on with it and waterproof this shower. shower tile ideas episode 25. Let's quickly show you some pictures of before and after. Then we'll talk about and give you a walkthrough discussing material use, the type of tile, layout design, waterproofing. So here we go, before and after pictures, then we'll do a quick walkthrough. Okay, we'll first start with the floor. We installed a nine inch by 19 inch hex tile. This is porcelain. We used 1 16th inch spacers. A tile leveling system was used on this entire floor. LevTech. The floor turned out Great, absolutely beautiful, modern looking porcelain hex tile. It resembles a wood look, as you can see the grains there. Okay, install a new toilet. Keep in mind the customer will be doing paint. Our responsibilities for the floor, toilet, tub, tub surround, and shower. So let's show you this Wayne's Cot tub surround. We installed a tub here, fiberglass, new valve, trim kit. The trim edging used was Schluter Rondek Chrome. We've mitered every corner, that corner, that corner, the two insides, as well as the outside here. But this trim gives it a little bit of a pop. 12 by 24 install for this wainscot. Staggered it at a 50% offset. Grout used was Prism by Custom. Let's take a look at the shower. Quickly talk about waterproofing. This is a Schluter system, seal system, 
shower. 100% waterproof. The field wall tile is a 12 by 24 porcelain. We used a tile leveling system as well. On this entire shower, absolutely flat walls. As you can see there. Of course, installed a new valve and trim kit with shower head. We have a decorative stripe here running through into the niche, glass and metal, very flat. And then here's the niche. Now typically, we like to run the stripe all the way through only if we have a stripe in the back of the niche. When we fill the entire niche with mosaic, we like to install porcelain on the sill and perimeter to give it a picture frame look. But as you can see, very clean, tight miters. We use Rondek chrome as well. It turned out great. Take a quick look at the pan. We installed cut flat river rock for the pan. Here's our Schluter drain cover and drain kit. And here is the curb as well, trimmed out with Rondek. We give the customer two options usually. Trim edging that matches everything else for the curb, niche, sidewalls, or a solid surface. Uh, they opted for the trim on the curb. And again, prism grout by custom was used for the shower. Everything sealed up, ready to go. 100% silicone on the sides where the two planes meet. Silicone around the pan as well. Well, there you guys have it, bath and shower tile ideas episode 25. I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, don't forget to subscribe for more episodes and I'll see you on the next one.